Hello everyone, Uncle Zunky here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a guide on how to make your first mill on RS and how to just get started if you have a brand new account or if you're very, very low stats and you're not really sure what to do. So first of all, you start out in Taverly, which is this town right here. I'm near the bank. And what you'll first want to do if you're just really, really low stats, your combat stats are low and you have possibly really low fishing, wood cutting levels, etc., Say you just started RS or it's your first few weeks playing or you haven't played in a long time and you're trying to get used to the new system and all. What you want to do first of all is come down to the Taverly Bank and click Sail on the Fermanic Shipmaster. And he will take you to the Dungeoneering Island. And then you want to go to the Dungeoneering area which is called Damonheim. And you will get a Ring of Kinship from the Dungeoneering Tutor and he'll He'll walk you through a small little tutorial um, on how to first get started Dungeoneering, but we don't really want to worry about that. So you just want to come to the Dungeoneering place and get your Ring of Kinship out, which you get from this guy right here. Open your party interface, and when you first start Dungeoneering, you can only do Floor 1, Complexity 1. Obviously, when you get to a higher Dungeoneering level, you'll unlock more complexities and more floors, but when you first get started, this is what you're going to do. So, I would recommend to just start on that first floor, that first complexity, use the weapons that you're given. You'll have some weapons in your inventory, it depends on what level you are in your combat stats and what level weapons you'll get. But I would recommend just pull out your magic weapon, or if you'd rather train range, pull out your bow and arrow, or if you'd rather train your melee stats, pull out your melee weapons, and just rush through the floor as quickly as possible and get it done which is quite easy you just go through the dungeon you kill all the monsters for all the doors that say guardian doors and you move on to the next one and just finish the floor as quickly as possible and get to the boss and kill it so once the boss is dead and you've completed the floor just end the dungeon you'll get some dungeoneering XP and you might get a level or two as well so you leave the party after that and you restart and this time you'll have unlocked floor 2 and you'll have also unlocked complexity 2 so you, what you want to do is just go back into your party, form the party, go to floor 2 now, which will be unlocked after you complete that first one, and go to complexity 2. And what you want to do is just do that, and then as soon as you're done with that floor, do floor 3 on complexity 3, floor 4 on complexity 4, floor 5 on complexity 5, and finally floor 6 on complexity 6. And once you've unlocked complexity 6, from then on, you're going to be doing floors on complexity 6. And you will obviously get Dungeoneering XP and level up your Dungeoneering while you're doing so. And once you've unlocked Complexity 6, this is where the real fun starts. Now you can go into Dungeoneering and you can um, gather all the resources in the dungeon. So if you come across a tree in the dungeon wall, which there is not one in this room, but we'll get to one soon. Um, sometimes there are fishing spots that you can fish. There's also some um, mining or ores that you can mine. For example, here's some fishing spots here. You can buy feathers from the um, the smuggler who's going to be in the middle uh, of the starting area where you first start so you just want to fish out those fishing spots and cut all the wood cutting and then you can burn the logs you can cook the fish if you'd like and this really just helps you get your first few levels it's a great way to train it's um, absolutely the best way to train your first stats when you're first starting out and you also get quite a bit of combat XP from killing all the monsters in the dungeon so as you can see you just go around and um, basically just you want to be getting your first few stats doing this method. And there is also going to be some skill doors that you can open as well. Um, for example, this is a rune crafting door, and every time you open those, it gives you a bit of XP as well. So, for example, here's a tree here. Um, I believe this is a level 70 or 80 tree, so you're not going to be finding these when you first start out, but you just want to cut all the trees that you can and get those first few woodcutting levels, etc. As you can see, it gives quite a bit of XP um, for the dungeoneering woodcutting, and you'll be getting, you know, 1 to 30 woodcutting in a couple hours, no problem. You just want to clear out all the resources. And of course, you're going to be wondering how to make your first couple mil as well. And I guess that's what I will show you right now on how to do. Now that you have a few stats and you've gotten started, it's time to make your first money. So now that you're ready to make money, just make your way to the Draenor Village Lodestone, which of course is just to the west of Lumbridge, and run south. 
and how we're going to be making the first few money it's really hard to just gain a bit of starting cash once you have a bit of starting cash it's not very hard to make money but getting that few first few starting cash can really be a problem so just run south from the Draenor Village Lodestone and we're going to be training the new skill Divination to gain that first few money. So to train Divination you just want to gather from these Pale Wisps. This is what you can do at level 1. This is the only place that you can train. And when you gather from these Pale Wisps you'll gain Pale Energy and you'll reach level 10 Divination in about 10 to 20 minutes. It won't take long at all. And as soon as you get level 10 Divination you want to go to Falador just use the lodestone there or if you haven't unlocked the lodestone it's just a run pretty much straight north from where we are now it won't take very long to get there because the runescape world isn't very big and once you get near the falador lodestone just a little bit to the east of that there's the level 10 divination spot and you just want to do the exact same thing that you were doing at the level 1 divination spot and again just gather these energy here and deposit the energy in the rift and you'll gain um, this flickering energy and pale energy here this is what is going to be making your first few starting cash so when you have that energy just deposit it in the rift and that will level up your divination and get you to higher levels which equals more money once you have level 20 divination this next spot to head is here with the bright wisps this is just to the east of Verrock it's across this fence and you can also train up to 30 divination there and again I would recommend to do that this whole process from level 1 to 30 divination will only take about two hours so it won't take very much of your time and again it gets you a great start on um, one of the skills in the game and it will also gain you some starting cash so once you reach level 30 divination you will have a little bit of money so it's time to head to the grand exchange uh, sell the energy that you got and use that cash that you gained from the energy to start making your first couple of mil so if you played your cards right, these are all the energy that you'll have from level 1 to 30 divination, and we can just quickly sell these, and we will get a little bit of starting cash, which in turn we're going to use to buy some items with which we can start to make some money. So this only takes about, I would say, it took me about an hour and a half to get from level 1 to 30 divination, and we collect this cash, and this is over 100k as you can see. So we're just going to withdraw this money, and I'm up to 118k. This should be just about what you guys are at as well. And then you use that 200k that you, or 118k that you got, and you go to the Grand Exchange and you type in Green Dragon Hides. Don't buy the leathers; buy the regular Green Dragon Hides, and just buy as many as you can. You won't be able to start out with a whole bunch, um, whole bunch of them. I can only buy 40 at the moment with the cash that I have, but that's okay because we're going to be making a huge profit on these. So once you have your green dragon hides, they bought for, um, they bought for me for 2,920 GP each. You just want to run south of the Grand Exchange, past the bank, and there's going to be a tanning shop right here, and we're going to be tanning these green dragon hides into leather. Of course, this is a very well-known way to make money, but it is extremely effective, so that's why it's so well-known. If you do this consistently, you can make up to a mil an hour. So as you can see, those bought for 2920 uh, each, and we price-checked them, and they're now 3400 each. So I made a huge profit, and that only took a few seconds to tan those leathers, and I'm going to just withdraw the rest of the leather and tan them really quickly. All right, so I tanned my first 40 leathers, and as you can remember, I had 118k cash when I initially started, and now after selling these, I'm going to have 131k cash. So in just about 60 seconds, I made about 16k. So as you can see, this is going to be a great way to make money. Um, so what you can do for your first mill is just rinse and repeat once you sell the leathers that you have. Just buy some more green dragon hides, go tan them, and sell them back to the Grand Exchange. However, if this doesn't appeal to you and you want to have a little bit more money before you start tanning green dragon hides so you don't have to do so much back and forth to the GE and uh, running to the tanner and running back to sell them again, I can show you another method that can make you a couple more 100k pretty quickly um, so you don't have to do so much running to the GE to sell your leathers and buy more. So another thing that you can do is buy some flax from the GE. I'm just going to buy enough for one inventory here. It's really cheap, so don't worry about that. Only costs, it costs less than a K for a full inventory of flax, 868 GP to be exact. And once you have a full inventory, just teleport to Lumbridge, 
which is the old starting place, and we're going to be making these into bowstrings. You can do this at level 1 crafting. Um, for a long time, it required 10 crafting to make flax into bowstrings, but from an update from about a year ago, you can now make these at level 1 crafting, so you don't even have to have a crafting level to make bowstrings, which is really great. And another good thing about this method is if you buy a whole bunch of flax and you craft them all at once, it can be a pretty AFK method of gaining money as well. Um, you make about 150k an hour, so it's not nearly as good money as the green dragon hide, but you can also just get your first few crafting levels and really gain some money as well. So again, you don't have to do so much back and forth from the GE to the Tanner to sell all those leathers. All right, we're back at the GE, and as you can remember, we bought a full inventory for flax, of flax for 868 GP, and now we can sell them all for a huge profit. It sold all for 7,420 GP, so if the price of bowstrings remains what it's at right now, you can make about 200k profit per hour, and also it requires very, very little effort. It, you can do a full inventory of flax in about 45 seconds, and then just go to the bank upstairs in Lumbridge Castle, withdraw more, and do another inventory. Um, so if you'd prefer to do that instead of just immediately starting on those green dragon leathers, you can make a couple hundred k an hour with little effort and get your first few crafting levels as well, which is really nice because you need those crafting levels for quests, um, which is going to help out in the future. So as you can see, like once you have a few hundred K, um, come back to the Grand Exchange and just buy those Green Dragon Leathers, tan them, and sell them. That is about 1 mil profit to 1.5 mil profit an hour, depending on the prices of Green Dragon Leathers because they change every single day. So anyway, I hope you guys can really find a way to earn your first mil. As you can see, it's not very hard. It'll take maybe a full day of playing, but after a full day of playing, once you get that divination to get your first initial coins, and then maybe do some flax to get a few hundred K, and then move on to the Green Dragon Leathers, you can make your first mill or even two three mill in your first day of playing it's not impossible so anyway i just want to thank you guys for watching this guide remember to train that dungeoneering it's very important it's gonna come in very key later on in the game when you need those dungeoneering items so don't overlook dungeoneering and um the sooner you learn how to dunge the better Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I don't know how many newer players are going to watch, but um, if you are a newer player and this helped you out, uh, I just want to, I'm glad of that. And that's going to be about all for this video, and farewell.